I'm Christopher, the Midwest Man Mountain, and I believe that woodworking and gardening are two of the best ways to be sustainable, creative, and achieve a sense of purpose. Thank you for watching. Hello friends. This is my gardening journal. Do you have a gardening journal? They're fantastic. To me, the purpose of a gardening journal is to write down your thoughts and feelings and ideas that you have at the time, and then you can track them back later in the year, next season, to compare dates for when things are blooming or remind yourself of good ideas, all sorts of stuff. I got this idea last winter from a Google Plus post and I took it on myself. So it's just, it's just a normal binder, Whitman Regional Airport, this is where my mom works, and it was a promo piece and she ended up giving it to me. So on the inside you'll see I have a dedication and I dedicate it to my, my garden is dedicated to my family to my grandfathers who showed me the joy of growing and sharing food, to my mama who taught me to see the beauty of floral gardening by the work of my own hands, to my wife, we'll build our home, chop our wood, and make our garden grow. That's a quote from a musical. And to my children and grandchildren, I can't wait to meet you and share with you the adventure and the awesome machinery of nature. I love you all. So, and that was in May, May 19th. Then there's a little bit of a foreword about me, and then we get right into it. So my format's pretty simple. The first part of the book is actual journaling. It's a thought process. So I'm going to take you through, I'm going to read everything. Why not? You can skip as you will. You can sort of imagine the garden changing by listening. I'll show you pictures where there are pictures. May 19th, 2016. I have unsuccessfully attempted to start my tomatoes, peppers, lettuce, kale, and some other plants from seed downstairs. For next year, I recommend a heating unit and better lights for the plants. I also need to start everything like eight weeks before planting since it's so cold down there. In my basement, I mean. This past weekend, I enlarged the garden to approximately 24 by 35 feet, rented a massive rototiller from Kitson File for 40 bucks for four hours. Good deal. Planted my blueberry and gooseberry bushes this past Tuesday morning ordered them from McKay Nursery in Waterloo, Iowa. I'll need to really watch the pH on the blueberry, testing their acidic soil with compost so to keep the pH low. Here's a rough map of our garden this year. I'm planting it all on Saturday, May 21st. And then here was the rough map of the garden. Uh, there was a draw a garden map from early in January, I think 2016, if you wanted to see that whole horrible process. Let's see, what's different from what we saw? Mm, not a whole lot, actually. It just, well, I, I added the, uh, the cucumbers and those Egyptian walking onions, and some things didn't turn out like we planned, but that's nature. You know, maybe I won't read you the whole thing. Um, I talk about what was like right after my planting. I went through and, and labeled all of my vegetables. Um, it was a long and extraordinarily rewarding day. I started by mapping out uh, my walking paths, then I planted the plants and the seeds. The old part of the garden was much nicer to work with than the newly tilled area. The soil was uh, pill-like, just like Grandpa Shilker always warned about. My grandpa always, one of my grandpas always said not to um, till your garden until later in the season when it was warm enough, otherwise our clay soil goes into balls like this and it's harder to plant. Whereas the soil from my garden the year prior to that, so two years ago now, three years? Anyways, I had hand tilled and then, or spaded in the fall and then tilled in the spring and it just crumbled apart, it was perfect. Uh, so that's what I'm talking about there, notes to self. Uh, then we get into June, so um, I start kind of jotting down my garden tours, which I had on my channel, starting on June 10th, June 30th. June 30th, bean reseeding, successful, yay! Um, RCB are a failure, radishes, carrots, and beets are a failure. Lots of raspberry greenery. I was pretty disappointed with my um, radishes, carrots, and beets last year, if you remember. The soil was just too hard for them, so I've made that note for myself this year. July 10th, July 14th. <laughs> uh, come home after being gone for 10 days in Michigan to visit Bridget, and the garden was a mess. 
Uh, my dear friend, bless his heart, had thoroughly watered all of the weeds, mistaking them for plants. <laughs> I didn't show that on camera, um, but I'm glad I wrote it down to remember it. On the 14th, I went and uh, I started changing it up instead of pros. It was more itemizing by important vegetables. Cauliflower, tomatoes, peas. Peas are done. Melons are f forming. Irving ate all my soybeans. Do you remember my pet bunny rabbit who was in the garden? <laughs> uh, August 4th, must mulch fruit section in 2017. I, uh, I didn't mulch that part. I thought, oh, just walk on the dirt. Weeds, weeds, and nothing but weeds. Thistles. Oh, it was horrible. Um, <laughs> August 20th. August 25th. I have ripped out the zucchini. During its lifetime, it produced over 12 fruits. The 8th of September. Three things. I have... Let the weeds take over my garden. My beans are, hold on. My beans are never ending. Raspberries galore. <laughs> Good to know. See, last year I forgot that I had fall bearing raspberries. So now I won't forget. 15th of September, the 2nd of October. I just said, leaves have begun to fall. Sad face. October 8th, only three mini pumpkins. Peppers finally came up. Still getting raspberries. Finished off the cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. So that's a month of raspberry production. And then October 22nd, tore out and spaded the garden with a sad face. So after that, there was a sheet I kept for the longest time in my garage of when and how I mowed my lawn. This is just kind of a good place for me to put it. Um, I like to rotate the pattern, so sometimes I go across, sometimes I go up and down, and then I go at a diagonal, it's just so that those lines from a lawnmower don't get etched into my ground. Um, and I put the dates, and then any sort of notes. We had a big heat wave here, so that you can see I only mowed twice in July, twice in August, um, and then we finally got some decent rain in September. But before that, it was four times a month. It's good to know. And then when I lowered my blade, because I always lower at the very last second to last mowing um, so that the last mowing is um, nice and low to the ground because the grass isn't going to grow anymore and then my leaves can blow over it nicely and then when I cleaned it so it's about six months five and a half months from the 30th of April my first cut to the 15th of October then I, uh, I put in some pictures so I, uh, I used Instagram almost primarily to be the source of my garden picture sharing so I printed off some of my favorites in no order. So this is a ho my house from the garden in July, some purple pole beans, the inside of a ripe melon, a colorful harvest, um, the garden overtaken with weeds, a Brussels sprout uh, without its leaves, which looks kind of gross, but tasted delicious. What else do we got? Fresh raspberries, a bee pollinating radish flowers, my bench, through peas, some early Goldilocks tomatoes, then there's Bridget creeping in through all that greenery, and a huge ground cherry harvest. You can see all those on Instagram in much better resolution. Then I had, uh, I closed off the year of 2016 with afterthoughts. So my afterthoughts section is just one page, and it's vegetable by vegetable. So here I like to go out and I have one or two thoughts that if I'm going to plant these vegetables again in the future, I'm going to want to remember. Lettuce. Plant less. Don't let go to bolt. Meaning um, keeping it short with wide leaves instead of up with that flower. It just ruined it. Pretty much ended the life cycle for my kind. Melons. One mound is perfect. Vertical plants require more support. Good thing to remember. Raspberries, so amazing, expand threefold, which I intend to. Then we get to 2017. Not a whole lot in here at this point, but I'm starting the year off with my goals. So these are things that I've said to me and to you on numerous times, and you know, it's just good to have it in writing. It, it keeps it at the top of your memory then. So let me read you some of my goals. Expand the garden to 35 by 35 feet. Add permanent fence and gate. Majorly increase raspberry production and grow more fruits. And then plenty more after that, including 
bring friends and family, share generously, can dehydrate more, and have fun. Because you can't forget to do that while you're gardening. That's what it's all about. And tasty food. I put a reduced version, um, not to scale, of the map. The garden map that we had drawn actually last month. And then I've got a, just a tentative fence structure, which for me is going to be 4x4 four four posts with probably 1x3 or 1x4 four boards, chicken wire, or some sort of close mesh. And I'll be burying the bottom about uh, 3 or 4 inches so the rabbits can't burrow underneath that. I did that with my current fencing, and it works very well, I'd like to say. And after that, it's a blank slate. So my next entry is going to be probably talking to you. And then it's going to be my notes for starting seeds. And then it's going to be my notes about tilling. And then it's going to be my notes about starting other things that I intend to the garden. So I love a gardening journal. Again, in the cold winter months here in Wisconsin, it's really nice to be able to have something to do that you can consider as gardening. And just for the sake of prosperity and longevity, it's good to have things written down. I really look forward to reading this in 2020 when it's got five years of notes and five years of pictures and it's dirty and well loved and well used and uh, I can show it to my friends. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. You're awesome. You can subscribe, you can be a Patreon, and I'll see you next time. Bye.